everybody, it is Demon Club 89 here with Tomb Raider from 2013. So uh, again, I had asked if, uh, out of a small selection of games, if, uh, the Facebook page wanted to see any of them be played. And Tomb Raider seems to have been chosen. Yeah. <laughs> um, which, I mean, I'm fine with because it's different than Bioshock and this game is absolutely amazing as well. So, we're going to jump right into it with a new game. Yes, I've already beaten this game, and I've actually beaten it 100%. Is it? Yeah, 100%, so that's pretty nice. Alright, or, uh, it was more like 90-something percent. I didn't upgrade all the weapons, so... Yeah, you know, whatever. So, I'll go quiet, and we'll watch the intro. After here. We'll do normal. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us So here we are, in game. Jonah! Reyes! Help! Got to get down. I can't die like this. Gonna hurt. 
Well, um, so yeah, Laura doesn't exactly stay perfectly clean this entire oh game. God. She takes quite a hell of a beat. Another thing I'd like to point out, though, is this game looks absolutely beautiful, whether it's a cinematic or not. They're almost seamless. And this, uh, some parts actually are just seamless. Um, changes between the cinematic part to a gameplay part. I'm going to see dwarfs. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Subtitles. I gave you guys subtitles because I wanted to make sure you can hear everything. the game there is there is quite a bit of um quick time events but luckily after you leave like the first area or two they die down and you don't see them like at all which it probably would have just been better if you didn't have them but uh, what can you do Like I said, 
did, yeah. In the first couple of parts, there's a lot of quick time. sister have actually been a fan of Tomb Raider since we were little. We had a Tomb Raider 2 way back in the day. And I, <laughs> we didn't know how to play it that much because we were little. And she was only four years older than me anyway. So in Tomb Raider 2, if you didn't know, they have um, Laura's mansion. Laura's. There, that's how you pronounce it. Sorry. It's Laura's mansion and you get to walk around. It's basically a tutorial for you. Well, we didn't know how to play the actual game, so all we ever did was run around in her mansion. Okay. But, like, knowing the gameplay mechanics was actually really fun. And later on, when I, uh, when I owned an Xbox, I got Tomb Raider Legend, and I got Tomb Raider Underworld. Both of those were good games. And then, my sister, uh, just recently last year, actually huh? got a... PS1 again, she bought online, and she got the first three Tomb Raiders just so she could play them. But yeah, um, the game, how the gameplay has changed over the years is actually really amazing. In mean, the first games, it was actually kind of difficult to come on, come on. platform. It's also really interesting to see Laura from a new perspective than we're used to. And just my god, <laughs> like, this game really loves showing off our uh, technology capabilities. Sounds pack. So, yeah, since I got a. Uh, I recently got a new uh, graphics card Sam! before I did Bioshock Infinite, too. You must have come this way. Uh, I'm able to play everything on, you know, better graphics without it being laggy, so that making videos is actually a lot nicer for you guys. Uh, I have everything on this game set to high, Sam? except what? for, um, I don't have Can this hear me? new, uh, technology that they made for this game called Tress FX, which is for hair. It's supposed to make hair look more realistic by showing, like, more single strands and everything. <laughs> Oh man, sure. man, that freaking foot. But it, it, it does show like more strands of hair, but the physics of the game makes the hair sometimes just freak out and it doesn't look really good. So I prefer having the normal hair like this. I think it just looks better. Tress effects is like experimental, so if it gets better, then I love it. But for now, I just like the normal hair. Looks again. 
Is anyone listening? Please respond. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. You don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? to find something to eat. Alright, that is where I will end part one of Tomb Raider. I will see you guys in part two. I hope you guys enjoy the game. I hope you enjoy everything. I'll try to make it more enjoyable and everything, you know. <laughs> Still just by myself, but what can you do? Alright, Demon Cloak 89 out.